Welcome to the next generation learning. Quality education is my birthright. Now let us consider a cantilever beam which is subjected to a point load of 10 kN at its end. The B and H are given as 200 and 300 mm. Now we construct the finite element model of this by using two nodes 1 and 2. Now let us go to the preferences. We select the structural preprocessor element type. We select element as beam 2 node 188 element. Now let us define the material that is structural linear elastic isotropic A enter modulus of elasticity that is 2.1 E5 that is 210 gigapascal and poisons ratio as 0.3. Now let us go to the section define beams common section we enter the value of breadth and height here we can see there are different sections available but we select the rectangular section in that we enter the breadth as 200 mm and height as 300 mm okay the section is created now let us go to the modeling to create the key points in active coordinate system so first key point is created enter 2 second key point is at a distance of 5000 mm okay second key point is created now let us create the lines that is connect one and sec two key points now let us go to the meshing size control manual size global now let us divide this element into 100 parts now we'll mesh it we'll select the line or click on pick all ok now go to the solution define loads apply structural displacement on key points we select the first key point that is the key point which is to be fixed now we'll go to the force on key points we will select the end that is second key point where the force in the y direction that is negative y direction has to be applied ok now we will solve this solve current load step as solution is done once the solution is done we can go for post processing that is in the general post processor deform shape deform plus undeform it shows the deform shape along with the undeform now let us define the element table by sequence number smic 6 then apply 619 you need to remember this combination 6 19 3 16 so for this element that is 2 node 188 beam element these are the combination for determining shear force and bending moment that is 619 and 3 and 16 so we first enter 6 and 19 combination we can see the shear force diagram so for beam 2 node 188 619 are the shear force diagram combination and 3 and 16 are the bending moment diagram combination so we can see here the bending moment diagram and the maximum value of bending moment now let us go to size and define it as 3d now let us go to deform shape to see the animation as we can see here the 3d animation okay we clicking on isometric view now again go to deform result unsum okay here we can see the animation thanks for